Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Hello. Thank you, thank you so much for your continuous support to my channel and thank you for tuning in always. Thank you for watching all my videos. And this is one of a very good topic. Um, it is also an advice. You can take a lesson from this. Our topic today is how we could face the challenge of COVID-19. I know um, or we know that we face a very big challenge last year of this COVID-19 and even today it's still ongoing. It is not only in one place, it is all over the world. So I will give you um, 10 important things that you can do so that you can face this challenge. So the very first one is we need to have love and compassionate because if we have this in our heart, I think we can really face the challenge. And number two is survive and move on. What, do, what does it mean? So it means that um, we will not focus of yesterday. Let's focus for tomorrow. And number three, we need to stand and be strong together. I know it is a big problem, especially for the students, for the parents, for the teachers, for the workers, for all the people that are um, always in the house, staying in the house. It is really very difficult. Sometimes we have some difficulties, um, some stress. But if we will stand and we will be strong together, we can face this challenge. Year 2020 is really very challenging, not only in ourselves, but in our family, in our community, in our government, all over the world. It's really a very, very big challenge, very, very um, difficult in ourselves to move on, to go forward, especially that you cannot go out, you cannot explore, or many things that comes into our mind that we that give us stress but if we stand and be strong together we can survive we can move on and number four is we need hope and unity because if we will put hope in our heart and we will be united not only in a family but also in our community we'll have we will be united to follow the directions, the rules of our, what our government is saying, that, that we will put um, masks, we will wash our hands, we, ha we will do some distancing. Guys, we can survive this COVID-19 if we will work together. We will be united. We really need to have a COVID-free world. That is always what we pray. That is what we are really dreaming for, to be normal again. I mean, that we can travel, we can go to our friends, we can visit our families, we can go to malls without any mask. I think all of us, that is our prayers. And number five is the beauty of life. We look forward always the beauty of our of life not the past because it is already a history we cherish each moment all the memories that we have in our friends that we have in our family because we don't know tomorrow if we can still see them and number six do not sit down but to fight. It means we will not be sitting down, being stressed, being not, um, we think that there's no more hope because of what's happening all over the world. But guys, let's fight. We're not doing that only for ourselves. We're doing it 
to show to our family, to our brothers and sisters, to the community, to the world, that we are ready to face the challenge. How? We need to follow always the rules. Wash our hands regularly, regularly. Put our face mask if we will be going out. Six feet. I mean distance. Or if we do not have any important that we will be going outside. We will not be doing that. Stay at home to make you safe. And for all the workers, um, like me, I am working in the school. So we follow the rules. We always um, sanitize all the classrooms, inside the classrooms, all the toys that the children use. And then wash our hands every now and then. I think I wash my hands 100 times in a day. Because every time I um, we play with kids, after that we sanitize and up, later on wash hands. And that is what we do also for the children that we encounter in the school. And next, we need to pursue our dreams. Our dreams is to be, to be COVID free, to be successful, especially um, to these pupils in the Philippines that they are using modules, they are using internet so that they can study. Pupils, students, pursue your dreams. Do not stop. This will not, this COVID is not forever. This is only a big testing in all our lives. Continue to study. Because if you will study, you can continue your dreams. No matter how hard it is. Don't stop. Don't quit. Because behind the clouds, there is always a sky, a blue sky. There is always a sunshine. I know you're experiencing hard time, just like my nephew, my nieces, my brother and my sisters, that they are helping their children to teach, to guide how to answer the modules. It has been difficult for them because if you have five childs and they are in different kind of grades or level in the school. It's very hard to a parent how to mitigate the gap, how to understand, how to teach these children, their children, so that they can understand and they can answer their modules. It's very difficult. I understand that because I'm also a teacher there in the Philippines. Even, on, even teaching in the same level of grade, it's been difficult how much more if you will teaching five children in different kind of grades and you are not a teacher. It's really very difficult. I think you will have 200 stress. But no, don't stop. Just put it in your mind, my dear parents, my dear students, my dear pupils, my dear brothers and sisters, that this is not forever. This is only today. That's why pursue our dreams pursue your dreams you can do that you can do that next is we care for one another together we will stand because when you are alone you will fall down immediately do you see the broomstick when a broomstick is only one you cannot use it to clean the house but if it you will put many broomstick, uh, I mean the broom, you will put it all together. It will stick together and it will stand. It is very easy to clean the house. It is similar for us. If we will put love, care of one another, we can stand this. I know. You will. We will have a good reason to live life. We really face a very challenging life. 
but we have also an opportunity to share good truth to our families, to our friends. So it is really um, for me, but I am really happy to share all these thoughts that come into my mind. That if we will do all what I give you insights, I think we can face all the challenges. As a YouTuber, we have also our responsibilities. Not only for us, but for our families. And also for our viewers. To give you good advices, good thoughts, and to be hopeful always, to live life. I know when COVID-19 uh, COVID hit us last 2020, it is really shake the world. There is no race, no religion. And it is not only in one country, it is all over the world. We have the same blood that flowing in our veins. No matter where you are, no matter what is your race, we have the same blood. So guys, I hope you learn from this video. So please share, then we can help each other. Because if we stand and be strong together, we can still see living in a blue sky. Living with peace living a good life we can cherish all the memories every now and then and we must be grateful and thankful of course to our creator we need to pray together to heal this land so that we could have a covid free land world and all the pupils and the students can go back to school they are eager to learn, to learn more, to be with our with their friends. And I know also the parents. That they want to also to be happy to live. Not with stress, to be a stress free. So guys, believe. Let us believe in ourselves. That we can do this. If we are we will pray together to God. So thank you, thank you to all of you who continue supporting my channel. I hope if um, you are not, you are new here in my channel, please subscribe, please like, and please, your, please put your comments below how you could face the challenge of COVID-19. Thank you and see you on my next video.